Hi, my name is Josh Head, and I'm doing a riff to Japanese commercials and a Japanese prank show. And if you're wondering what a riff is, I'm wondering why you're watching this or whatever, but it's basically a funny commentary to an anime. If you want anything else, go to rifftracks.com. That's R-I-F-F-T-R-A-X dot com. And check out Thinking with Josh Head. But besides that, I think we can go ahead and get into the riffs. Thank you. Here we go. Hey, it's Mary Poppins and she's flushing mad. This commercial brought to you by the Penguins for the Ethical Treatment of Sewage. Something tells me this is a bad Happy Feet tie-in. Meanwhile, in a world where a girl changes hats more time than she changes moods, there is something very important and unnoticed about this flick you're watching, yet so key to its, its very being. Unbeknownst to you, while you've been watching this short flick of a girl changing hats, you haven't noticed that you've been watching, in fact, something more sinister than... Charles Manson and Marilyn Monroe combined. Something more evil than Jessica Black's Friday song. Yes, my friends, you've been watching a Nike commercial. Meanwhile, it's time for Japan's favorite show. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's Weird TV in Japan. Unbeknownst to these Japanese teenagers, We've replaced the normal floor in their school hallway with their angry school teacher. Now let's watch and see what happens. Is it safe to bet the Back to the Future guy was Japanese uh, just looking at this picture? <laughs> First your lunch money, then your pants! Let's get a replay on that. See how the slow motion just makes everything cooler. <laughs> so let me translate. In other words, just the actions. Your shirt may be ripped now, but hey look, now you have nice scuffs. <laughs> you silly man. Now watch as this Japanese pimp gets the crap scared out of him. Hey, for a prank show, the camera's pretty easily spottable. Hey, now I think about it, this might be a commercial for affordable office structures. You know the kind with the front desk below the floor. Just check it out. Nintendo Incorporated, how may I help you? Oh, I see, you've already found the bathroom. <laughs> Meanwhile... Yeah, no, that girl could sure pack a school lunch for me. What's with the Midwestern country theme? Wow, I heard the Japanese Mafia was hiring, but jeez, it's taking a toll on some of the women. But just think of how many voice acting studios can use them for the Lord of the Rings. No their voices may sound like a travesty, but look at the upside. At least when they're dating you, they can't complain much. Lucky him, he's just found the one Japanese girl that doesn't like hard whiskey. 
court. Ah, I thought soccer to go mini kanaikara. Unofficially, you found out what most Japanese girls secretly desire baseball and a good camel cigar. Meanwhile, okay, it's time for special features. And I'm going to start off with today's moral of the story because I don't have any facts about Japanese commercials. The point of the day is why does Japanese television or Spanish television or foreign television just seem like it's on crack altogether? I mean, anytime you hear of something weird happening on TV, it's because of its own from Japanese or Spanish television. And I'm proud to say us Americans aren't like that. We're the normal ones, says the guy in the insane asylum. Yep, I said it. There's probably weird stuff on American television we don't know about. But we're so desensitized to because we're Americans. So basically what I want you to do is leave your comments on that below and or leave a video reply and I will possibly feature it in one of my riffs. So do keep it funny and short because basically I am trying to entertain people here. So I hope you enjoyed the last five minutes like I have enjoyed the last five minutes because it was just wrong and weird and yuck. No, just kidding. All right, signing off.